What's up? It's your boy Cedo here, man. This thing is woo. <laughs> Hold your head. You're gonna hear from Jaguar Wright herself. She blew up, and I mean blew up and went out. So we had to edit this to where we can go down. I had to put this on one crack news. I don't even know this is acceptable on my channel. But good lord, did she go off on? Kawhi leave and her ex-husband. But it's going to bring a lot of stuff to the first surface. And I'll tell you that right social. now. I like, I like see too. Where's your girl? Bet you I can take her. Bet you your bitch would rather be with me. Baby, can I have permission to cheat so I can steal his bitch? We can steal his bitch. <laughs> Stupid ass motherfucker. He, would, he probably don't know what to do with it know how. That's why he keep f***ing with all these little girls. That nigga can't f*** a grown woman. Talking about I'm aggressive. No, nigga, you're childish. Grow the f*** up. I'm sick and tired of all these He's always talking shit. And stay talking shit on the f***ing internet. Say that shit to my face, ho. I'll fight you just like we used to fight in Southwest Philly and North Philly. I'll fight you ass naked in the street. Because I won't, I won't get your blood on my fresh clothes. Take all my clothes off and fuck you up real good and then put my clothes on and walk away. These niggas don't know who I am. Check my motherfucking G in these streets. What the fuck did that dumb bitch, um, that fat bitch, whale of a cousin say to me last night? You the only cousin that I ever had that's been 302. Bitch, I never got 302. I ain't never get picked up in Philly. That's a Philly code, dumb dumb. And there's plenty of people in the family that got 302, including her mother, Deborah Roach, after my grandma found out that she was trying to fuck her husband. And then they got into a fight, and grandma had to call the people on her and have her hold the fuck off. But I'm crazy, though, right? Her mother was in love with a whole murderous pedophile who, who fucking goddamn touched all the kids. What kind of fucking asshole kills his wife and then tries to come on to her grandchildren who never got a chance to meet her? And this is who fucking fifth let watch her kids while he had porn on all the time with his robe open, diddling himself, talking about come sit on Daddy Mac lap. I told that nigga, you better close your fucking robe when I come over here because I used to have to go over there to get clothes to take the other people because he would give us money out of guilt and shit because he murdered our grandma and got away with it. And they called it manslaughter because she was black. And that's the kind of bitch that fifth, Deborah Roach, let babysit her kids. And then she wonder why her daughter Danica was sucking my cousin John for snacks. Woo! Her fat fucking ass. Woo! We always used to have to hide food from them fat mother. Woo! Come over my house 300 pounds, sit on my $8,000 couch and break it. And it's so funny because Danica all on Sam's side. But Sam was the main one. Can you get that fat bitch out of here? She, all she do is eat up all my food and drink all my liquor. She done broke the couch. She done broke this. And then turn around and go run to her and cry to her. Your cousin doing me wrong. But see, he I guess he didn't realize she was the one that found all the all them pics that he had from the sex site. Because Danica the one that went into the computer and showed me my husband's uh, nefarious details online with the big Sam with the triple D. Got his dick everywhere. Who the fuck needs to take a thousand pictures of their dick? Who? Who does that? And when I'm, when I'm questioning him about it, oh, well, I ain't never showed my face. Oh, really? And you don't think eventually people are going to start to figure out all of the many people that have seen it? That is you? The nigga had a thousand pictures. There was a picture for every time he posted. He used to collect porn like it was cartoons and told me he was a collector. A collector of porn. But you married. And Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> Grown ass man sitting around can't decide whether he wants to jerk off and Goku or goddamn uh, Vanessa Del Rio. <laughs> <laughs> but you married him. That nigga jack off to anything. I would wake up in the middle of the night, he'd be on porn sites, jacking off. I'm like, nigga, if you wanted to fuck, why ain't you just say something? <laughs> it's an addiction. It's an addiction. It happened to me because I used to watch Soul Train, and my mom wouldn't let me have it, so I would jerk off to Soul Train. Like, these niggas are fucking retarded. 
That nigga jacked off the soul train in his motherfucking um, pillowcases. <laughs> Samuel Douglas owed him the first. The only for real, for real, I should have never named my son after that bitch. Wow. Corny ass motherfucker. He wanted to name my son Maximus after a nigga off of the movie The Gladiator and shit. That's how fucking lost in fucking La La Land that bitch is. And you married him. <laughs> but you married him though. And, and people want to question me over a hoe like that. You married him. They need to go back and check every last one of his ugly girlfriends. Because all he ever had was ugly girlfriends. Like that bitch Tanya. You remember I told you about Tanya Moore? The one that I used to shoot pool with, and he started fucking with her behind my back because he was about to level. He called himself leveling to the next position. The, the hobo sexual. Oh, no, 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 no. Not in pool. He was looking for a place to stay because he knew his days with me was numbered. Oh, the hobo sexual. Why my, all of this going on while my father is dying. While my father is dying, all this shit going on. Then he going to call himself giving my son a phone so that he could contact him without me knowing and forgot. That the fucking bitch Tanya Moore was texting that shit. My son came to me, mommy, what's this? Talking about, oh yeah, baby, it's sex time. We about to do it big tonight and all of this shit. And my six-year-old son is reading that. But I guess he should have been used to it after they found all of the dirty condoms in my fucking Jaguar and Mercedes Benz seat, the sex wax. My kids come downstairs, I'm making breakfast, they go turn on the big screen and it's fucking three niggas and one bitch. And I got to turn that off and explain to my kids it was an accident. Hold on. Like, who the f*** needs to question me for that? This nigga would use a fucking rubber. He would jerk off in the house on, on the red leather couch that I gave to the Salvation Army. He would sit there and jerk on that couch in the middle of the night, jerk off into a fucking condom, leave the shit there because he forgot. I guess he was so hazed from uh, all that he experienced. And leave the shit on the TV for my kids to find in the morning. That's the kind of shit I had to deal with with that hoe. Then he want to run around fucking everybody talking about he my manager. So now you need me to get pussy too. Promise some bitch an internship at Def Jam. Then she going to call him up, clowning him, talking about, oh, I just realized Jaguar Wright is your wife. Oh, she a whole G. See, you can't even afford, oh, I'm, I can't do nothing for you because I got to buy my wife a Mavado watch uh, for this, that, and the other. She was like, oh, with her own money? Because, bitch, you ain't got shit. For real, for real, let's keep it a bean. That nigga was pump faking on a lot of shit, especially at Polo Ralph Lauren. All them goddamn fucking um, celebrities I put him on to, the celebrities he still work with, like The Roots. Mm. I wonder if his client, Bruce Yeargang, I wonder if Bruce Year Game, who been shopping with my ex-husband at Polo Ralph Lawrence since 99, knew how many times he used his black card to purchase clothes for the fucking roots. Then he would, they would get on the show, and then he would have them return them, and then he would return it to make it look like he ain't fucking just steal from that man for them fucking cheap-ass muffins. All that money they making on TV and y'all still need dis discounted polos? Polos ain't even hot no more, bitch. Who give a fuck about polo? Rock Tom Ford, ho. Spend a little money, why don't you? Spend a little money, why don't you? No, instead, you'd rather sit there and amp my ex-husband up to keep me back and forth in, co in, in custody court and child support court for motherfucking ever so I'm too busy to focus on my career. But see, I kept winning, and that bitch kept losing, and they kept hyping that hoe up. Meanwhile, hey, you think I can get some business this month? Yeah, what's going on with Jag? These these ain't shit. He probably took um he probably took all of this advice from Kamal, because everybody know how much Kamal hate women. We know how much he hate his first wife Michelle. Used to beat the fuck out of her. They used to fight like niggas. Then you give her a venereal disease that you caught from mother. George Clinton's granddaughter, when everybody knew that all of George Clinton's grandkids had herpes, had a f***ing you. You gave that shit to your pregnant wife, and y'all niggas want to talk shit about me? Oh, and then you leave the black wife for the white bitch. And you got, now you got your mix, you got, you, you got your mixed looking kids, even though they're black, calling the white bitch mom. And they don't even acknowledge their own mother, Michelle. Come on. Sam. Tariq, 
uh, all of them bitches of uh, sandwiches. Sweet oil. Come on. And I'm ashamed of James Poyser, because he's the same motherfucking one that told me, you better watch your back with them niggas, because they ain't got no good love for you. They ain't got shit for you. I'm telling you, after the way Lauren Hill fucked me over, Jag, listen to me. I'm going to tell you this right now. He was so upset. We were standing right there in, in the back, in front of the access door, in front of um, because access was right next to the roots room. Remember, Fel was just telling you about that. And James Poyser grabbed me by the collar and said, Jag. There's a point where loyalty ends and foolishness begins. Get wise. These niggas don't mean you no good. Really, what happened to that advice while you sitting up there with all these rapists on the Jimmy Fallon show with your big ass head? I guess your head got even bigger. Nigga couldn't wear a hat in the 90s. Bet you he still can't wear one now. That used to be the joke we used to play on him. Niggas would give him a hat. Yo, James, can you put that on? <laughs> they probably still clowning his ass about that big ass hat. And then they gonna use him to pump fake on motherfucking uh, Frankie? On Frank Knuckles? They gonna use him to pump fake on him so that they can get rid of um, Knuckles. That's why when Pablo Batista came to me and said, yo, Jag, can you, um, you know, call the roots and see? I'm like, I don't know if it's for you. Them niggas really ain't for nobody. But I'll make the call. But I think you shooting low. They would have Pablo over just like they fuck everybody else over. Meanwhile, these are the niggas pumping up my ex-husband and his corny motherfucking ass to come after me to try to sideline my career. Jill knew all about it. Man, listen. <laughs> you married him, though. <laughs> you know, nobody said the roots was some, you know what I'm saying, some all positive people because they, you know, Afrocentric. People like that, you know, they live savagery life just like everybody else. Shuffling some cards, baby. Let me go get my gamble on. Yeah, hurt. So anyway, I'm out. Love, peace, and hair grease. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell. One crack news, baby. We out.